A lot more people need to know about Mason Cole. That's why I'm making this video because he just got signed to be our center. I don't know if he's going to be our starter or not, but right now he is, and that's all that matters. Three-year, $15 million deal. And he was a guard slash center with the Minnesota Vikings. I know about week 14 versus the Steelers, he started playing guard, which was interesting because Garrett Bradbury came back, so he switched over to right guard. So he can play center and right guard. His film is better than Kendrick Green's. So again, he's probably going to be our starter as of now. But, of course, we could draft Zion Johnson, move him to center, or do something like that. Either way, there will be people competing. And, of course, this is his film as center, by the way. So, go ahead and make your judgment off Mason Cole off this film, if you like. Because this is most of his film as center. And, of course, that's the position he's going to be playing with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, I'm going to give people a very Mike Tomlin answer when they ask me how good he is. He just does his job well. And that's what the Steelers need. I've said that countless times, but the center position is not a flashy position. You just get your job done. It's not like you're going to go out and smash some safety or corner and make some highlight play from that, unlike tackles and guards, at least not in our system. I don't think Kendrick Green pulled that much compared to our guards. So you're just going to be that glue. It's not going to be pretty, but just don't mess up. Do it fluently, and you're going to have to be smart as well because there's a lot that comes your way as a center. Now, I I think Mason Cole does that well as he gets bull rushed by Kenny Clark there, but that's Kenny Clark. But like I was saying, Mason Cole does his job pretty well. That will instantly make him the starter over Kendrick Green. There's also that factor of we get a guy like JC Treader. If that's the case, then he's instantly going to be the backup and Kendrick Green's probably going to be the backup left guard. That's just my thoughts though. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Also, one last thing. Who's still out there when it comes to O-linemen and free agency that you'd want to see the Steelers sign like a J.C. Treader or a Lael Collins or something like that? Of course not Lael Collins, but that's just an example. You get what I'm saying? Anyway, that's it for me. See you.